ذلك الدين القيم ولكن أكثر الناس لا يعلمون. Also, the marriage you have to know that it's a social enterprise. It's not something that you think of just a pleasure to get married. It's not a sexual relationship between a female and a male to fulfill your own desires, sexual desires. You see somebody to get married just to fulfill your own lust and your own desire to see, you know, seek these pleasures that uh, uh, involved in this uh, relationship. No, Islam does not look at their marriage as only one uh, single uh, desire. And if you think of the marriage only in this narrow window, small window, this marriage will deem to be ended soon. And it, it will not continue. And it will not uh, stand. And will one day uh, end. The marriage in Islam is a necessity. It's something that you have to do to fulfill many things. One of them is this desire that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created. But that's not the only thing and that's not at the top also. It's part of it. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala established this marriage so the race, the human race will continue. On earth there's no other way to make that possible without marriage. That's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in his book, Wallahu ja'ala lakum min anfusikum azwajan wa ja'ala lakum min azwajikum baneena wa hafada. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made for you mates of your nature. And from you he made out sons and daughters and grandchildren. So this race has to be uh, continued and the only way to make sure that this will continue is through marriage and also to provide mental and mental stability to the individuals because a human if they stay single there is uh, some kind of kind of instability in their life. To fulfill this stability, you have to get married, and this marriage is to fulfill this, uh, these desires all together, not only one of them. So staying and married in Islam is not accept, uh, staying unmarried or staying single in Islam is not acceptable. There is no celibacy in Islam, it doesn't accept it. It's not part of it. The Prophet wasallam mentioned it in many, many ahadith that as soon as you can get, when you have the means of getting married, it's first to get married and not wait. One time, a group on this, we know all the story, and I just briefly bring this to, to emphasize on this part of it that three people came to Prophet Muhammad's house and they mentioned, they asked about how he worshipped during the day, one day and night. And when they mentioned, that the wives of Prophet Muhammad mentioned uh, the Prophet's 24 hour work, they somehow belittled what he was doing and they said, oh, he, he is also forgiven. I mean, uh, that one of them said, well, I never sleep at night. I always, I'm always awake, praying all night long, never sleep. And decided not to sleep at all, one single night in my life. The other one said, I decided to fast my entire life, never skip one day. The other one said, I decided to stay single and not get married so I'm not distracted from worldly things, you know. Dedicate myself to God, to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam hears this, he didn't praise them. Oh wow, 
So this, this the, probably the pious people on earth. No. He said, come. That's not my deen, the Prophet That's not my religion. If you want to be the pious people on earth, you have to follow me, the Prophet said. I wake up at night, pray and sleep. Portion of the night I pray, another portion I sleep. Sometimes I fast, sometimes I don't fast. And I get married, I have wives. And anybody who get away from what I do, is not from me. فَمَنْ رَغِبَ عَنْ سُنَّتِي فَلَيْسَ مِنِّي Whoever is not interested on my sunnah is not from me. So you have to uh, get married and this marriage must be for some noble reasons. One of them is to fulfill the order of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that He ordered you to do that. And to follow that the uh, footsteps of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and also to uh, keep the human race to continue and raise good children who can worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and continue on this path. That's why the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam encouraged us to get married and have children so his nation in the day of judgment will be the uh, greatest nation on, on among the other nations uh, number wise. And also to protect the society. Because human beings in nature, they have this desire, the sexual desire. If they don't fulfill it the right way, they will fulfill it the wrong way. And the only way to protect this is by marriage. And we see that. We see that every day. And uh, also to protect the society from diseases. That's more obvious than uh, it's so clear we all know we don't have to go to any details so many diseases millions of people are infected by diseases related to uh, illegal sexual relationship between male and female uh, that's not out, out of uh, wedlock and all these diseases there are hundreds of thousands of people dying from these diseases and also billions and billions and billions of dollars are spent in this cause that can be easily uh, eliminated by following the orders of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala this sexual relationship should be and also always must be through the marriage no sexual relationship outside of marriage and also, as I mentioned, this institution of marriage will bring peace and love between people and build relationship between, among people. When you get married, you get connected to other people around you. The family of the wife, you become part of them. Also, they become part of you. This relationship will create love, this love and also uh, uh, create a relationship to help each other and get to know each other and help, uh, protect each other. And this peace and relationships and helping each other is all part of the deen. But we have to know how to fulfill these things, how to make sure that you choose the right person to create the right relationship and to bring this love and this mercy of Allah between you and your wife because it's not automatic just to get married and you have peace and love, no. If you do not build your marriage on a firm foundation as this, uh, directed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this marriage is doomed to fail. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said in one of his hadith that المرأة تنكح لأربع تنكح المرأة لأربع people marry a woman for four reasons لماليا for his, her wealth because she is wealthy businessman woman or has a lot of money أو لحسبها because 
who she is, from which tribe, or Jamaliha, or because she is beautiful, or because she is beautiful, or Lidinia, or because she is a pious person. She is a pious person, worshipping Allah, adhering to her religion, and uh, following the orders of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, choose the one that has taqwa, that has deen, that's following Allah's orders. فَضْفَرْ بِذَاتِ الدِّينِ تَرِبَةَ يَدَعْ Oh, choose this one. Because that's the way to success. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says in one of the hadith, that if you choose your wife just because she is wealthy, you are doomed.